Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss pagination in Power Apps Gallery Control. See here, this is my Power Apps edit page where I can add gallery control to make a pagination in Power Apps. First of all, let us know about what is pagination in Power Apps. Power Apps pagination divides a content from a large data source and represent in a limited manner. In this case, normally we can use the gallery control to make pagination in Power Apps. As we know, the Power Apps gallery control contains only up and down scroll bar navigation. So, using the pagination trick, we can resize the gallery according to our choices. For suppose you want to view the previous or next page of your records in the gallery, you can do this by using the previous or next control navigation. When a user clicks on the previous or next button, they can see their reside records. Now I will show you practically how to make a gallery control pagination in Power Apps. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like vacation budget. Inside this I have added some records based on the respective columns. Now I would like to add this SharePoint online list to the Power Apps and bind these records of the gallery control to make a pagination. For that go to the power apps. Always you should remember that whenever you want to add a SharePoint online list to the power apps. Just go to the data section. Here select the add data and search SharePoint. Here, here choose your respective SharePoint online site. Then choose your respective SharePoint online list like vacation budget. Then click on the connect button. Now go to the default screen, here rename the screen. Now expand the insert tab and search the gallery control and select one blank vertical gallery and rename the gallery control like and make a alignment correctly now set its items property like sharepoint online list to add sharepoint online list records to the power apps gallery control just click on the edit icon here select the text label and click on the text label control Similarly, you can add more controls to add a all SharePoint online list records to the gallery control like this. You can also add headers like this. Select the screen, then set its on visible property like this. Here you can see this is my variable name like where page, and this is my gallery control name like gallery vacation records. This is my SharePoint online list name like vacation budget. Now select the gallery control and set its items property instead of sharepoint online list like here you can see this is my sharepoint online list name like vacation budget and this is my gallery control name now insert a text label under the gallery control then set its text property like here you can see whenever the user use the counters function to get the SharePoint records count, it will give the delegation warning like delegation warning the highlighted content part of this formula might not be work currently on a large data sets. The count rows operation is not supported by this connector. To resolve this issue, create a collection using my SharePoint online list. For that go to the app object and set its on start property like here you can see this is my collection name like collection vacations this is my sharepoint online list like vacation budget to get the created collection just click on the run on start property now select the text label control and set its text property using collection here you can use collection instead of sharepoint online list You can see here the delegation warning is resolved. Next insert a button control for the first page.
and rename it as first page then set its on select property like here you can see this is my gallery control name and this is my collection name similarly insert a another button control for last page now set its on select property of a last page button like here you can see this is my collection name and finally insert a next arrow and last arrow to get the another page of a gallery control for that insert a first next arrow button then set its on select property like here you can see this is my collection name and this is my gallery control name in the same way insert a back arrow button and set its on select property like here you can see this is my gallery control name and this is my collection name finally once your app is ready just save and publish the app now go to the preview section here once you click on the next arrow it will navigate to the another screen and as well as if you want to click on the back arrow it will redirect to the previous screen and once you click on the last page it will redirect to the last page and once you click on the first page it will redirect to the first place yes friends this is all about how to create a pagination in power apps gallery control I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.